Okay, I think we're just about ready to do our first uh, induction. One family representation would like to come up. Um, and they will be presented by our Vice President, Mr. Tom Burke, who will tell you a little bit about them and what they've done over the years. Come on up, and uh, we've got a couple of seats here for you young people. Neil, how are you, mate? <laughs> 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 I'll, uh, I'll get Tommy in, you can, uh, you can introduce uh, these people. Uh, Tom, Bill is, there a seat, is there a seat for Juanette? Yeah. <laughs> She's not. Can we have one seat? She's sitting between the two hands and you get one. Well, I'm just going to move this lecture down the road, Steve, so you get a better shot. And Tommy, you can come over. son and grandson of one of them and the man who married their sister. Seven men, six of them boxed and one worked the corners. Between them they racked up over 2,500 bouts in six decades. The five only kids were born into a circus family. Their parents travelled North America as performers in Buffalo Bill's Wild West Show. As the Wild West Show moved from town to town, the two eldest boys boxed in the novice tournaments held in the circus going to town. Their dad gambled on his father on his boys' abilities and their mother sold the trophies further on the road. The eldest boy, the one the family calls Old Billy, had over 100 of these kids bouts before he was 14. The younger brother, Ernie, he had 60 on before he turned 12. When the Wild West shows folded in 1913, the family returned to Australia and settled in South Brisbane. Time doesn't allow for more than a quick glance at the careers of each of the six men in Boston. Old Billy had 100 midget bouts in America, 130 amateur bouts in Brisbane, and then 60 pro fights in 10 years. Ernie had 60 kids bouts with the circus, 80 amateur bouts in Brisbane, and 30 army tournament contests while he was in Europe as an underrated soldier during World War I, and he also had 50 pro fights. Old Billy's career and Ernie's career ran parallel lines, and they both they notched up, between them they notched up over 500 bouts. Next to the brothers was George. George had 30 amateur bouts in Brisbane and 80 pro fights between 1924 and 1942 when he went to the army. George won a few army tournaments during the war and then in 1946, as a 40 year old, he thought he still had the ability to fight as a pro. A severe battle in Newcastle by Clem Sands convinced him otherwise. George contributed 120 bouts to the family tally. The youngest of the four brothers was Jimmy. Jimmy came along during the Great Depression when there was no money around. Jimmy had a handful of fights and then went and did something else. 
The first of the next generation was young Billy, old Billy's boy. And young Billy had a total of uh, amateur bouts between 1939, 1943, and then 30 professional bouts after the war. Young Billy had another 70 to the score. The last of the six boxers in the family is my old mate, Freddie Davis. Freddie is old Billy's grandson. Freddie had a handful of amateur bouts and then 14 pro fights in the early 60s. Also had a couple of bouts with Noah Cundy, who was an inductee. A big contributor to the fan mentality was the cornerman Frankie Holland. Frankie is Neil's dad and married into the family. For over 20 years, uh, Frankie was a fixture of the Brisbane fights. You would see him in the corner for the big fights and the prelims. He would do the big stadiums in Elbert Street and the smaller stadiums in the suburbs. Frankie would bob up in the small halls of the novice tournaments and you would see them at the charity events and in the park. Sometimes he might just do one of them. Other times he might carry his bucket throughout the entire event. Now, Bill would like to say something about his dad and his grandfather, and then we'll have a word from him. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It certainly is a great pleasure to see so many boxing enthusiasts here today. On behalf of the extended Unwin family, some of whom I met today for the first time, I would like to thank the Boxing Supporters Association for the immense honour of inducting our family into the Queensland Boxing Hall of Fame. In particular, I'd like to thank Tom Burke and Neil Holland for initiating the research into the family history, and especially Bob Webster, who spent countless hours recording the deeds of my grandfather and two of his brothers, Ernie and George, during the early 1900s the 20s, 30s and 40s. Ernie became a legend in Rockhampton during the 30s and is represented here today by the McFadden family. Unfortunately, I never met um, Ernie or George as the three brothers all went their own way before I was born. All brothers had successful amateur careers before turning professional and Bob and Tommy have made reference to the actual statistics. But recapping, George had 76 professional bouts with a win-draw-loss ratio of 44 wins, 22 draws and 10 losses. Ernie had 46 professional bouts for a 27-16-3 result and Billy had 50 professional bouts for a 24-18-8 result. Billy, however, was said to have had 130 undefeated amateur bouts as a teenager. The trophy here today on the table was won in 1917 by my grandfather, William Baden Unwin. It is entitled Champion of Champions and won in a tournament open to all weight divisions for which it was named the best and most scientific boxer of the meet. The trophy was forwarded firstly to my father and spent many years as private place in the sportsman's bar at the Shaftston Hotel, East Brisbane, before being passed on to me for the past 30 years. Growing up, Grandad was known as Old Billy, my father as Young Billy, and myself as Little Billy. I assumed that I was William III, but Bob Webster's research revealed that I'm in fact William VIII. Obviously, Unwin families didn't spend a lot of time choosing names for the male Unwin children, with family heritage being most important. My father had a short but impressive boxing history, cut short by an, industry, by an injury sustained in New Guinea during World War II. It was said his boxing style closely resembled that of his father. After the war, Dad trained a group of young boxers at the Redcliffe Gymnasium, where two of his charges, Alan and Chris Martin, both won Golden Gloves titles. Another of his boxers was Bob Rubin, who went on to be a very successful, who had a very successful career. Out of, out of 
In the early 50s, we moved to Brisbane and Dad trained boys at the Kedron Gymnasium. I used to accompany Dad to the gym and trained under him, but I had just started high school and developed a love for Australian rules football and both at both school and club level. But I believe my greatest motivation was that all the girls followed the footy teams and that was the place to be. <laughs> I don't believe that I ever had the skill or motivation to embrace a successful boxing career. As a kid growing up, I was never smacked, but instead received a short straight left or a short straight right. Not enough to cause any damage, but enough to dissuade me from reoffending. I must admit, I never received a biff remedy I didn't deserve. My cousin Fred Davis, who is, son, is the son of Dad's sister Maisie, had a successful boxing career and followed a similar path to someone well known to us in boxing circles. He became a boxing school teacher. Fred's son Carson, compiled, who's here today, compiled a comprehensive account of William Baden Unwin's life between 1900 and 1969 as a school project and received congratulations for his excellent biography from his teachers. Granddad or old Billy, after retiring, went on to be a successful lawn bowler, a much gentler pastime to his previous exploits. Earlier this year, I donated this trophy on the table up here to the State Library of Queensland to be held along with other state treasures for many years to come. I would like to thank Reuben Hillier, who's here today from the library, for releasing the trophy from its new home in order that everyone could see this magnificent piece of history. It is indeed an honour for our family name to be standing beside state, national, commonwealth and world champions, as well as past Olympic champions, and, for one, and one for which we are all immensely grateful. Thank you everyone here for attending to witness the very special event called Thank you. Yeah, thanks very much, Bill. Yeah, I'll put it up in the same way. Australia. It wasn't old enough the first time he went over, and when he came back, he was still too young to join. 
But in, in most days, you do only get away. They all show people. Um, I don't want to get in the pros and cons, what some of them were up to, but they model Larry from a couple of the brothers. Uh, Jimmy, uh, he was the one that didn't fight. I think he had one fight. And he had been out of place on the grass, so he wouldn't find him. So they stuck on the ring, he stuck on the grass. But uh, no, one of the family, and this year is a real pleasure for us as a family. But yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll give you the young family. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we've got some. Uh... We've got a little technical problem here once again, but listen, ladies and gentlemen, what a wonderful story, what a wonderful family of boxers. Uh, Jim was, uh, there seems to be just a never-ending su supply of the Unwood family that all uh, ventured into the ring at different times, and uh, it's, 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 it, it is really a pleasure, Billy and Neil and Fred and Lynette, for me to be able to present to the family it's a pity we've only got one certificate for you. We should have about 30, 40 of them, shouldn't we? Yeah. And also a little memento, Bill. And uh, once again, congratulations on being a member of the great family. Thank you, sir.
uh, Ted does. Let me just say she hopes that this big, uh, beautiful photo of the couple of the young un ones will go in our trophy cabinet. Well, if it doesn't, we'll just build a bigger cabinet because that is just absolutely beautiful. And I truly appreciate it, Len and Fred. Thank you very, very much. Good on you. Thank you very, very much.